one of our last ones this year. We've done a slew of them, some of them up in the North Shire, some of them down here. Um, one of the feedbacks I'd like to get for you, and I'm trying to think of how to do it, but maybe passing around a piece of paper. Um, we're going to start to be planning for next year and topics. Um, so this year we've done things on social media, financing for small business. Uh, I think we have a last one with healthcare. I think that's our last one in November. It's when we have uh, the Richards group come in and talk about healthcare prices for 2020. Um, but usually we do that one. Obviously this one's on video. So really the whole point of Lunch and Learns is to take an hour out, um, maybe that you're off to lunch and then be uh, training and teaching with subject matter experts on topics that are specific to small business and our members. Uh, the major majority of our membership is the 1 to 10, 1 to 20 employee uh, person that's trying to do it all. And so we want to make sure that you have the best books and the best financing. We want to make sure you totally understand social media or marketing or video, understand healthcare, uh, things like that. So before the day's done, um, if maybe we'll pass around a piece of paper, just ideas that you have or that you've heard other people running into trouble with. We can always redo something next year, um, but, but we want to make sure that uh, we hear from all of you of ideas. We usually do about six to eight a year, depending on, on the flavor and depending on the membership. Uh, and then a big thing next year, we were talking with our Cat TV guys. We try to film this on Facebook Live, so if, if business members can't get out of their workplace, they can watch it right on Facebook Live. We also have a library on our website under Lunch and Learn, so if you want to go back and look at all the former ones, they're, they're recorded as well. Uh, next year we'll be moving uh, primarily to a video format. Uh, we're going to host it at Cat TV Studio. Uh, we're probably going to have seating for about 12 to 15 people, so first come, first serve, and then we're going to completely videotape them and record them all live next year so that um, if you want to come out, get some air, um, check out the Cat TV Studios, enjoy the program live, more, the, more, more than welcome to do that as long as we can fit everybody in, but we're also going to offer it Facebook Live um, and, and as a library as well so that we know that you are busy. We know sometimes you know, taking the whole lunch off is, is undoable for you and we just really, really want to make sure that you get the information uh, that you want. So without further ado, I think I'm going to do, um, you know, I'm going to pop in back and forth as Will and Mike want me to do uh, in terms of how we've utilized as the Chamber uh, Cat TV. Um, but for, without further ado, I'm going to pass it off to Will Gardner of Cat TV, and, and he's your subject matter expert for the day. Yeah. Yes, Great. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thanks, Matt. I'm William Gardner. I work at Cat TV. I've been there about 20 years. Um, so. A lot of people have heard of CAT TV, but I think some people are still a little bit unsure exactly what we do. So I'm looking for to start this off with a volunteer to tell me what CAT TV does in our community. Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> Thoughts? Sure. Local access television? Yep, that is good actually. Anybody else? Okay, good. I, I, got, I got a lot to say then, I guess. So CAT TV is your local community access TV station. We are funded through Comcast. We get 5% of the gross revenues that Comcast gets in the five towns we serve. So Bennington, North Bennington, Powell, Shaftesbury, and Woodford. Our charge is to basically teach people in the community how to utilize all the equipment and services that we have CAT TV, and you're able to produce your own television. So Cat TV doesn't necessarily pick and choose what we want to go out and put on our three channels. Our three channels are 15, 16, and 17 on Comcast. Um, we rely upon the community, one, to get trained, and two, to produce their own TV, to tell people exactly what they want to say. So what's the story? What's the story of Bennington? What's this? What's their viewpoint? This, that, and the other. Um, recently, unfortunately, there's been some legislation, and this is be real short, but it's important. Um, the FCC has decided to give the big cable companies the opportunity to charge back um, some of the services that they get in the towns that they serve. So what does that mean for CAT TV? Um, Comcast gives free internet to the high schools um, and to other organizations in town. And they're going to be able to take the value of that and charge it back against the money that we receive. So we're going to probably see a decent funding decline unfortunately. Um, and it means the cable companies get bigger and we get a little bit smaller. So we're going to segue that into membership at CAT TV. We do offer several membership levels. Um, anyone in here could become an individual member. 
An individual member will get you all the CAT TV services. It's $25 a year, and that's access to all of our training. So you can learn how to use a video camera. You can learn how to utilize our studio. Um, all kinds of awesome things. We also offer um, nonprofit memberships and underwriting contracts, which is kind of cool, which I'll talk about in a minute. So, um, you know, you're always able to utilize CAT TV again for training. And if you have events, if your company's putting on an event, um, you're, you know, you're always able to advertise that through CAT TV as well. So, I'm going to call up Mr. Cutler here if he's got a second. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about underwriting through CAT TV. Um, so our underwriting package is geared toward organizations, organizations that wish to support CAT TV and utilize its services to promote itself and events. So we're going to show maybe a little. Let's see if this turn the lights on a little dark. Sure. Watch your eyes. No, that didn't do anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have a lamp here. Oh, that can work. You want to show a underwriting? Yeah, so we're going to give you a little bit of example of what underwriting package could, could look like for you and your sure. organization. We recently did one with the Bennington Rescue Squad. Yeah, so we have two here, Rescue Squad and the Homeless Coalition. Uh, the Rescue Squad wanted to make a video for their new apprenticeship program. So in addition to the basic package we offered, it's kind of an a la carte add-on that we had for them. Um, so I'll just play a little bit of this for you. It's only a minute and a half, so... Yes. I'm Rebecca, and I used to be a cook. I started to become unfulfilled in my job, and I felt stagnant in what I was doing. There was no room for advancement anywhere. Then, I saw Bennington Rescue, and I decided I would take their EMT course. absolutely love what I learned in class. And now I'm working as an EMT, and I am excited about the opportunities that are available. I am currently taking the AEMT course and advancing my career. If you are stuck in a dead-end job and feeling stagnant or are looking for a fresh start, Bennington Rescue is offering an amazing opportunity in the new EMS apprenticeship program. We hire you and train you to become an EMT. The deadline for classes is coming up, so I highly encourage you to apply today. Information and applications can be found at BenningtonRescue.org. So that gives you an example of you know the type of production services that CAT TV could offer under an underwriting contract. Yes, yeah, so that was a very simple one to make. Yep. Um, the other one that I'll, I guess I'll show just a snippet of because it's 13 minutes is the Homeless Coalition. Uh, when Chris Holden was there, uh, he came to us and wanted to make a documentary story of where the Homeless Coalition was and people in the Homeless Coalition, stories of success from uh, people who were there. Um, so we made this, again, kind of that a la carte option in addition to the underwriting. Um, I'm just going to play the beginning here. And while it's happening, I'll just say we, we did some B-roll, obviously, uh, for some text. And then um, provided interviews with a few people that were in the um, different houses they have throughout town. Forward here to some of the interviews. I cried for two days, didn't eat yep. for two days, but I got to um, meet a couple people, you know, and they got me to eat, and they made me, a couple people made me feel very comfortable. So we ended up going and talking to um, a case manager over at Bennington County Coalition for the Homeless, and 
I have to say, it's probably one of the scariest things that I've ever done because admitting that you're going to be homeless, admitting that you need the help. And I do have to thank Chris and all the workers. You all have been wonderful. If it so wasn't I believe her story was basically she was uh, obviously was homeless and came back. I believe she that. works as a nurse now. Bennington uh, County Coalition for the Homeless safe. could not continue to facilitate new beginnings for homeless families and individuals without the help from our community. I urge you to contact us for more information on how you can get involved and combat homelessness. So that song was uh, in tie with someone they had at their um, gala event in Manchester several years ago. Um, so that was the end of that, uh, the, the music for that end piece there. And this was part of that whole thing for just obviously promoting what the Homeless Coalition does. Yes? What software did you use to build that? Sure. Uh, we primarily use Adobe. You do. So we do Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the uh, Creative Cloud at Cat TV. So, and we also have Final Cut, which is an Apple based mm -hmm. platform. Okay. There's also uh, DaVinci Resolve, yeah. which is Windows and Mac, and also is a free version. What is it again? DaVinci Resolve. So it's open source? It's a, not open source, but it's, uh -huh. it's made by DaVinci. It okay. used to be a coloring program, and they made it editing, okay. and the light version is free. Oh. There's a premium version for 300 bucks. Have you heard of Camtasia? I have not. Okay. I've been told that is that a Mac, Window, or both? It's, or? Um, well, I know it's at least Windows. I don't okay. know if it's Mac. Oh. But I've been told it's like good for people that are like really just like entering. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Because Adobe Excellent. has a serious learning curve. It does have a little learning curve. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. I would say yeah. DaVinci is pretty yep. easy to pick up. Okay. We we picked it up in a, about a morning, so a couple hours. Okay. Um, I think uh, even someone who's just familiar with right. computers could pick it up fairly quickly. And the thing about membership with Cat TV is we're happy that's part of that. We're happy okay. to get you going on that learning curve, but then kind of set you free <laughs> and right. do what you want to do. Yep. And can I just ask one more question? Yeah, sure. Where did you get the uh, music, um, you know, that's not copywritten? Yes, uh, we, we uh, subscribe to a few um, uh, royalty-free royalty -free creative okay. sources online that allow like creative graphics and music yeah. and you just have fonts. Because as long as you put in royalty-free, yep. there's like a bunch of yep. sites. So the one yeah. we use, it's called Storyblocks. Okay. Storyblocks. We also know. use uh, Envato elements okay. they have a whole suite of things so so i think part of it is and andrea i heard you talk a little bit before we started today is you know what can you do and, and will's going to get to what can you do in your little phone mm -hmm. what could you do maybe by yourself with some better equipment but then i think also another another alternative why we wanted cat tv here is they're our partnership with you and whatever the underwriting is whatever the membership cost is Think of that also going to a subscription you don't have to have, but they're using some of the state-of-the-art music, state-of-the-art graphics, as you've seen with the uh, swooping of some of our stuff or with the Rescue Squad, and then their, their videos as well. So I think the, the main takeaway is there are options, and one of those options, and one that the Chamber endorses, is you know if you really want to do something clean and crisp and kind of get it off of your back, which is a lot of small businesses just want to say, make me a commercial, you may want to go with Cat TV, who kind of holds all the subscriptions. Yeah, we sort of started with the underwriting stuff, because I think the underwriting package really gives you a focus. So it's a year-long package, and you know it, it forces you to sort of develop your message. You know, what's, what theme do you want to have? What story do you want to tell people? Um, and then obviously, you know, you sit down with us, probably Mike, and you develop that message, and then you develop how you want to enact that message through video. Um, so that's kind of one side, that's underwriting. So we do also offer production services, what a lot of people don't realize. Um, so all of this stuff that you've seen through underwriting, that's all gonna play on Cat TV. So you're not only, you know, can you take this and put it on your website, put it on your social media accounts, um, this is also going to play locally on one of our right. channels and get you know a ton of exposure. I think also in addition to underwriting, sorry, come on, let's do your thunder before we move. Sure. Uh, we thought things can be fun, like uh, so the homeless coalition. He had a few things he wanted to do, um, and we thought, well, we got to make these things fun. I did. We got to make them fun and engaging, and people want to you know, it's not just hey, here's a New Year's Eve party, here's a poster. How can we have a little fun with this? Uh, I thought this was just a, a slam dunk, really. Um, so they were having a New Year's Eve party for the Homeless Coalition in PAVE. Uh, this is a, a couple years ago. 
Um, yeah, 2018. Look at that. <laughs> So obviously we were able to get into the Greenwall Auditorium, get to where they're having the party at. Wait, he plays on the TV. With the talent too. Yeah, he's a talent. Yeah. Um, so I'll skip to the end there. So Will gets excited and wants to dance. Bright.com and all proceeds benefit Bennington County. Found some Coalition confetti poppers there. Had fun against violent encounters. You don't want to miss this night. So you get the idea there. Um. We just want to make those events engaging that you're having. You know, it's an easy one minute, two minute promo. We kind of hive mind, get everything together, a thought, idea, you know, we kind of have these thoughts yeah. bounce around, bounce around with the client, so to speak, and make sure that they're okay with that. So I think that harkens back to your, your overall mission. So again, the Homeless Coalition, they told their story through the documentary. That's really what they wanted to do. What's our story? This is a one-off, so this is more, you know, this, this is a more monthly style thing. So when you're developing your overall marketing package, all of these things fit into it. It's not, oh, I'm going to do a Facebook Live today. Oh, I'm going to shoot a two-second video tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to put a picture post up. You really need to be breaking down. We, we like to do it by the year. Um, but what's my yearly message? What's my overall goal? What do I want to tell people? What's the story? People don't want to know that you're selling widgets for $9.99 tomorrow. They want to know why. Why do I buy your widget? What's, what's your story? What engages those people? Why um, is that widget the best widget? Exactly. So, you know, what we have found, the best way to sell that widget is to tell the story. How is the widget made? How does that widget help people? You know, so you have to really get creative, and we can certainly help you with that. I didn't want to make this whole pitch about Cat TV, but I just have you know, one more thing to cover, which is the production services side. Um, so production services is really geared toward people who they don't want their stuff to really play on Cat TV. They have really specific projects um, that they want to accomplish. So they basically hire Cat TV, um, and we do basically everything. Um, you know, they sit down with us. They come up with um, exactly what they're looking to do, and then we go ahead and, and film that form and that's kind of a more specific by event piece so you're not committed for a year you're committed for this one specific project we charge you a certain fee for that um, and then you know we kind of we go from there so um, a lot of people don't also realize that you can promote commercial entities on cat tv a lot of people think oh cat tv is really based towards nonprofits and this that and the other i can't put my commercial business on cat tv that's not true you actually can um, you have to be a little bit more creative though. So it's true that you can't say, come and buy my widget for $9.99 on Cat TV. But you can come down to Cat TV, you can utilize the equipment, you can learn everything, and you can tell people your story, like we said before. So be more creative and more informational. So that's really how um, we serviced a lot of local companies as well. I'm trying to think of one, maybe the K and E one, maybe? Or um, so this is another way, obviously, again, you, you, you don't necessarily want to do the work yourself, so you're, you're having Pat TV do it. Um, yeah, I think it's right next to it. So this was a quick um, little promo that we did for plastics has been machining plastics in Bennington, Vermont. k and &E Plastics has made extensive investments in state-of-the-art equipment and facilities that has paved the way for the company to specialize in machining glass laminates. Moreover, k and &E Plastics excels in machining complex parts. From tight tolerance to parts that feature the assembly of hardware, such as dowel pins, helicoils, and terminals. Please contact the friendly staff at k and &E Plastics for all your machined plastic parts needs. And obviously you can have someone else do the voiceover, because I don't want to do all these voiceovers. <laughs> uh, but no one was willing to step forward from the company, so I said, fine, I will do that so right um. yeah so that gives you kind of an idea I think we'll maybe wrap up the cat TV portion of some of the things that cat TV can do for you here locally um, I would say that we're very reasonably priced um, you know a lot of times when you're looking for video production services you're talking in the thousands of dollars for you know really quick um, hitting stuff I think you've seen some of the quality that Mike and the production department can produce um, so if you're interested in yeah. any of that stuff obviously yep. 
I think that the K&E is cool because that came from a bigger project which was with the chamber for the manufacturing uh, forum that they had earlier this year about all the great manufacturing that happens in this region. They make parts for things that are, they send them out globally. So uh, that was from this video right here that was about eight minutes. I was going to show the whole thing, but that was just showcasing K&E. Um, Mac Moling was on there, NSK. Um, maybe Matt can help me and I'll scroll through maybe, but uh, anyways, it was just showing off uh, command, composites. Local manufacturing. Local manufacturing. Uh, so we were able to film that and the cool thing about some of these uh, production services we offer is we can do them in 4K. Uh, so, you know, 1080 is kind of the, new, the norm, but 4K is becoming the norm. Uh, is anyone familiar with 4K? When I say 4K, anyone know what 4K is? Okay. So 4K is... Uh, Basically, this is a 1080 TV screen. 1080 is the resolution of the screen, uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels. 4K is four of these in one screen. So four resolutions of 1080. So four of these TVs would be a 4K resolution. So we, we were there. It's, it's else, crisper. They, it's crisper and the, the files are bigger. Yeah, people, yeah, obviously, these, people know yeah. HD. We, yeah. That's, yeah, everyone pretty much knows HD. Yeah. So 4K is the next step. It's the next yeah. evolution of HD. Um, and they're going beyond that. 8, yeah. 16, it's crazy. But anyways, yeah. uh, we had that capability to do that. Uh, uh, we've been working with a lot of local companies doing that. Yeah. Um, so. so just a question. So when you say like underwriting versus production, yeah. are you saying that underwriting the business or the individual person is coming in and, and trying to create it themselves and there's no cost for that? Nope, so un it's a little different. So underwriting is, the biggest difference with underwriting is um, the content that's produced by CAD TV will eventually play on the CAD TV channels. Um, you know, it's telling a message, it sort of abides by the CAD TV rules and procedures, which again, basically is just you can't directly sell a product. Um, you can tell about your business, you can you know, show everything that your business is about, um, you just can't directly sell. And then we sit down with you since it's a year contract and develop sort of what's your overarching message and how can we get there. Like with the Rescue Squad, it was a recruitment video. Mm -hmm. So we really just focused in on that one piece and then they were able to recruit over that year's time. Um, where production services are, it's a little more on the spot, one kind of idea, and it's usually not for that, yeah. that year. We, we've had a lot of underwriters, uh, so like the Homeless Coalition, the Rescue Squad, the Hospital, Old Castle, uh, Chocolate Shop, um, Sonatina. Sonatina, we did their flash mob in addition to their concerts they have in the summer. So the, the underwriting, I think, is, like I said, a la carte. We offer the 60-second promo based on the package, but in addition to that, they want, like, they want homeless coalition wanted a documentary. Uh, they wanted the promo for their comedy show and the New Year's Eve party. So those were all tacked on at the end, um, but yeah, but it has the starting part there. Yeah. So you know we've again we've really covered what Cat TV can do for you. You know, not everyone sitting in here is interested in coming to Cat TV um, to have this service and stuff. Sure. One thing I can say, like I said before. Even if you don't want us to do the services, you can come to CAD TV, you can take a class on how to operate a video camera, how to use these editing platforms that we've already talked about, how to run the studio, lighting, audio, all those good things. So when you go out and you're doing it yourself, you have the skills to be able to actually do it. Um, I guess I'll do a quick poll. So how many business owners do we have here today? Awesome. So out of those owners, how many people have a Facebook page? Awesome. How many people have a developed marketing plan for that Facebook page and for their social media for the next year coming up? Awesome. How many of those include video? Self-made video. Awesome. So we're getting smaller and smaller. Well, that's good because that, you know a lot of people get in that same rut where, oh, I own a business and I have a Facebook page and I post once in a while. Well, what more is there to do? Well, there's a lot more to do. Everyone has a Facebook. You know, um, it's very important to, again, develop what is your overarching story. What's the story that you want to tell people? Because that's what's going to sell a product or let people know what your services are. Um, and that's something that's difficult to come up with. It's not just quick, you know, you really have to fine tune what your overarching story is. You know, what kind of persona do you want to portray? You know, many folks don't know what that is. Um, 
lot of their focus is on selling the widgets and selling as much as possible and getting so focused in the day-to-day -day operations of the business that they're not worried about producing a Facebook video. Or they're not worried about what, they're, um, what they actually overall look like. Um, you need to spend time doing that. If you, if you can't do it, if you're too busy running the operations of a business, then you need to delegate that to someone. You know, become, delegate someone to become a stakeholder and take that on. Um, once your story is defined, then you sort of need to break down the messaging throughout the year. So your long-term message is your yearly message. Mid-range message is quarterly. Um, Short-term monthly and immediate weekly and daily. So these are things, you know, we always recommend get yourself a big year calendar. Right, put it on the wall and then start breaking down. Okay, here's my overall yearly message, here's my quarterly message, here's my monthly message, here's my weekly and even daily. Um, and then you start figuring out, well, what fits into that? Is, is a video going to tell my overarching story? Um, you know, because shooting a video for your daily and weekly messages, that might not be feasible. So you have to really break down um, sort of what's in, important for you um, and what's going to fit under those things. So obviously video, email marketing, your website, and social media. Um, and again, posting on Facebook and Instagram, that's, that's just not enough. Um, I know we do a lot of scheduled posts on both Facebook and Instagram, so you want to talk a little bit more about sure. that? Or? Um, so we, we obviously have um, just Facebook and Instagram and obviously YouTube. YouTube is our archive, so to speak. All our projects go up there so people can see them. Uh, but for Facebook and Instagram, it's nice because now they're kind of really connected. You, I can post a nice thing on Instagram pictures and if your Facebook page is connected it automatically goes over there which is nice. Um, for Facebook we schedule a lot of things weeks and months out so that we just have that there. We don't set it and forget it. It's going to be scheduled. Um, we just did a whole series of Halloween things and we, you know, they're scheduled throughout the month and I don't have to worry anymore about oh shoot wait I should, I should post something this morning. Oh, I forgot you know it's my nine o'clock thing. You know, it's, all, it's all done. It's kind of autopilot which is great. Does anyone take? Does anyone use scheduling on? Good. Yeah, yeah good. Um, and anything like I, I think like you were saying for what's your story like? Getting out there and like Matt had a challenge of going live every day for a month I think, and I think that helps build traction because Facebook loves Facebook Live in their algorithm. So the more you do Facebook Live from your phone, the more traction that will gain after days and weeks of doing that. Um, I think it's good to, you know, if you marketing and things with video, study the algorithm. Like, there's articles about what's coming up with Instagram, they're changing it. Or what's coming up with Facebook, they're changing it. So how can you stay at the forefront of, oh, a photo is going to work best. Oh, I should do a vertical video or a horizontal video. Those are all things to think about. I didn't get that. Oh, thank you, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful. Um, and now there's so, an app also that you can um, schedule Instagram posts? Yes. I, I personally... Um, have uh, one for my Instagram. I, you, there's a whole bunch out there. There's Later, which is a popular one. Um, there's Better So. There's a whole bunch of them. I believe the Chamber uses Sprout. Not anymore. Not anymore. You do Hootsuite. Hootsuite, that's right. Hootsuite's a good one because you can connect like LinkedIn, and Twitter, and Facebook, and Instagram, and Pinterest. You can do a one post, poof, goes to all your platforms. So it doesn't have to be like, oh, shoot, I got to. Right. Carry this over to the here, and I post this for these two, and then these two. Make it as easy as possible for yourself. Streamline that. So, um, of course, those are a, a cost. Um, they're relatively priced, maybe like twenty bucks a month. But of course, it's it, what's it worth to you? Can you guess? I have noticed though that when I schedule clients' posts mm -hmm. for using Facebook Business Manager versus scheduling through Later or mm -hmm. Hootsuite, the engagement and the the results are better through Facebook because I mean Facebook is going to like their you yes. know, the algorithm is yep. going to yep. work better. Yes, that, that is true because even if, though I like the sweet, right? You know. I guess if they're uh, affiliated, you know, a lot of people say we're right. Facebook, Instagram right. affiliated, right. but I, I, I agree. With you. I still yeah. feel like and going in there is yeah because it's <laughs> I, I've noticed that too. Better. Like the, the platform, the yep. interface is better yep. in my opinion. I, I've tried, you know, be like, all right, only if I post this here, let's right. see, but if I post it here, let's see what happens to the numbers, sure. and it's true. Um, but, but, I, but, I, yeah. but I do like, and buffers and other 
Buffer is a good one too. Yep. Yep. So there's there's a lot of great options out there for that. Yes. I have a couple of thoughts on sure. that because I have done quite a bit of studying about um, Facebook and the algorithms and stuff. And I get the concept of scheduling posts, but there are ways if if you have a plan and you go in, there are ways to warm up the algorithm. For instance, if you go behind the scenes and you're messaging people you'd like to yep. see your your post. Mm -hmm. Facebook recognizes, oh, they're friends, so I'm going to put that in front of those people. And if you can, not only if you can get people to comment on your post and you engage that way, engagement's huge. People yeah. again that gains traction for you. I noticed that um, if I post, I get far more engagement than if I schedule. Yep, sure. So that's, that's good to know. I, I think that's yeah. something. I mean, I, I get it if you have a lot of. Um, yeah things you're trying to do and manage, but, yep. but engagement is everything on Facebook? Yes. Yep. Because the more engagement, the more yep. traction you're getting in yeah, the think, news feeds of people. I think it's becoming more about engagement because Instagram's toying with the idea of throwing the likes away. Yeah. So it's not just about getting seeing what the likes are. Right. Um, it's about relationships. Yeah, and you know, you know how I've studied like follow services to yeah. like gaining more followers on Instagram. There's there's the, the like technique, so like mm -hmm. the the service will go find an account that you want to steal, not steal, but gain people from. Right. So it'll go like photos, hoping that they'll see that and go, oh, who's that? Oh, that's cool. Follow, like, boom, boom, boom. Um, but, you know, yes. those are, you be kind of careful sometimes. Yeah. Those, so. mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's a whole lot of things about that. Engagement is huge. Yeah. Number one. I think that goes our strategy at the chamber is a little bit of both. So um, I think. Uh, frequency and consistency mm -hmm. are a part of that, so you'll see that we probably do about 10 to 15 if we're just speaking Instagram posts. Um, we also have a team, and I'll speak a little bit about that too, where I think uh, oftentimes, I was at a meeting last night, we're really encouraging small businesses to look at their marketing budget and remember, remember that labor has to fit in that as well. That you, if your marketing budget is $10,000, you're not spending $10,000 on deployment mm -hmm. and, and strictly creative, it may mean some other, having a photographer, having a videographer, using cat to me, all that needs to fit within your, in your yeah. marketing. So I think there tends to be a time for small businesses, well, how do I do that if I spend all my, my money in print? And it means you have to reallocate your funds in a 2020 world to figure out where, where that, that's what's happening. But, but also with uh, going back to the, you know, we'll do the 10 to 15 posts we do about 75% reshares and about 25% are our own posts. And then to Noreen's point, uh, offline, so that's kind of more um, scheduled, uh, it's a lot of back and forth, a lot of DMing uh, yep. with people as well as commenting on their things. So uh, that's some, some yeah. hacks we found in the algorithm as well. And we've also, I mean, a budget is great to have maybe some money for like boosting some Facebook posts that helps get them out there. We've done that and seen some great success with some of the bank <coughs> maids would, or and summers is so great uh, without boat boosting posts. Like uh, last year's painting the crosswalk for summer sun on team did the compass and you know we just put it out there and then poof it had you know twelve thousand views in just a matter of days which was great without any money behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that works with the grassroots stuff but sometimes it's great to if you have Oh, I can do fifty dollars a month for boosted posts. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do well, this one. I really want people to see this and this and this. I'm going to allocate that fifty dollars a month for that. Um, there's also a great feature in the Facebook pages. Uh, you can see, like, we can see our top five pages. We want to follow a certain pages and see their metrics. Like, we can see what the chambers' metrics are. We can see the banner. We can see other ones. And, and it's true. Just back to the engagement point, uh, we see some pages post. Sometimes several hundred posts a week, yeah. And their engagement is, wow. and you, and the banner or the chamber we post, 20, 25, and our engagement per post is much higher mm -hmm. than posting so many. You're lost. Like, oh, I just where was that? I did, but, oh, that was this morning. But then there, it's buried. Um, so I think consistently one to two a day is good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think it all harkens More back to the, mm -hmm. the overall what's your marketing plan for yep. the year because mm -hmm. these all all these things that we're talking about fit into you know that plan. Yep. It's video, it's pictures, it's testimonials, it's reshares, it's it's all of that stuff. 
if you're not developing a marketing plan, um, and you're not putting the right people in place to, to really fulfill that plan, then yep. you're really not yeah. doing that. And I think uh, a lot of people think, oh, marketing, i got to have uh, nice big cameras and lights and some nice microphones, and that's not true today. Uh, I think all of you probably have a cell phone, and you all have the Facebook Pages app. If you don't, I recommend downloading that. That helps manage your page. You can schedule things on the go. You can upload, take a picture, upload it, boom, 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 tag people, schedule it, away you go. You don't have to be at a computer yet. So here's a question. Sure. As far as the cell phone, and I've, I've you know, done some video with this, but with the new phones coming out, mm -hmm. do you recommend like 64 or higher gig to like Oh. I just use the drive, like the cloud. Yes, I use, the cloud is great. Cloud. I, you know, people are like, oh, I need more storage on my phone. Yeah, I, I still really get the lowest tier 64. Crazy. I do not need. Yeah. It, it's awesome. nice with the cloud because everything goes to the cloud now. At least yeah. if you have your, okay. if you're an iPhone person, you have your photo uh, app set to iCloud backup. It's no longer local not storage, so it's great. Yeah. But um, <laughs> having that app is great, yeah. and you can go live from that app. So, like I said, you know, maybe once a week or. Three times a week, I'm going to go live. Country Club, it's fall. Mm -hmm. Are there any great rates on golf? Get out there on the, on the ninth tee or the first tee and say, hey, good morning, people. It's a great day to be on the golf course. Beautiful. We've got these XYZ rates for fall time. Come on by, comment, get in touch with us. You know, That's a minute live video. And a big thing I do or we do at the, at the at can't TV, I was say at the chamber, <laughs> is we share the groups. Yeah, that's a big Bulletin, one. Blotter, those are the, the two big ones that we share too. They have 10, 15,000 members. We get a lot of viewership with select board meetings, any promos we put out there. Gets a lot of traction in the groups, at least locally, for what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. Golf clubs, Search like out other houses. organizations that are yep. in your industry, <coughs> other groups that are in your industry, yep. share with them. Yep. I just kind of turned into more social media, but that's fine. Um, Sorry, go back. No, to it's me. fine. Um, you know, like their posts, comment on them posts, because that, that's where it comes from. <coughs> yep. Again, it's, it's from just, just being idle and putting up a video. Okay, I put my video up, I'm done right. with it. No, that's just the beginning. You put your video up, you're sharing it, you're commenting, um, you're looking at other people's videos, you're liking them, sharing them. So it's, it's a process. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be necessarily daunting. No. Um, and look within your organization. Maybe you, and we're lucky enough to have Mike, who's you know a fine talent. But maybe you're not good in front of the camera. A ask around. Is there someone in your organization that knows technology a little bit better than you? That could be in front of the camera and utilize that. Yep. Utilize it. Empowers yep. them for one. And you're getting a little bit better. Yeah. If you're not comfortable, uh, I'll just go back to pulling the phone and talking. Right. And you'd rather be like, I'd rather hold the phone and you talk. Yeah. yeah. House tour. I I'll hold the phone and I can. You can talk while I show the beautiful wall, the beautiful window, or whatever, you know, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, I certainly find someone you, that if you're not comfortable, that's a great point, you know. And but again, we're here to offer those services. If you don't want to use a cell phone, or or you want to go a little step beyond and have nice audio or nice lighting and things like that. So yes, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the challenges that I find, I, I do video production mm -hmm. and. Um, I find that clients, it's all about the bottom line, yep. you know, so what, uh, what do you guys charge for a, a minute of produced video where the client doesn't really want to do anything yep. and you sure. just come in and, and sure. edit and do it? Our, our production services rate is 50 an hour. Uh, so if it was a one minute video, I'm going to say it'd probably be four to five hours of work total in terms of meeting with you find the idea, filming it, editing it, and sending it back to you for final. I'm going to say four to five hours. Is my rough yeah. off the head Each guess. project's a little different. Yes. We, I can tell you that you know we've looked at similar services in the largest market that's around the Albany. Um, and we're about one-fifth of what an Albany firm would charge. Um, so you know we're, we're, while we're here to obviously subsidize CAD TV and make some money, that's not our primary right. mission. Um, but it's something that we do like to offer because we have the capability of doing so. Yeah, I, uh, an example of rates, I guess, would be uh, two years ago. John Shanahan and Eric Peterson wanted to make some commercials for downtown. And they finally raised, I believe it was about $30,000 to do the commercials, but also to air them in the markets that would reach the Berkshires, Albany, and things like that. So they spent 
I'm going to say 95% of their budget on the marketing side to get it to play on the channels and about one thirtieth of that price on to making them. Uh, but they were very simple commercials, but still I think the quality was there for that right here. You go to Albany, yeah. you could spend easily a thousand dollars on a commercial. I think what's cool about CAT TV and, and being you know sort of grassroots and, and here locally, we're not going to come in here and, and try to sell you a product necessarily. We're going to sit down with you. We're going to sit at you know a house that was built in 1866 or around a coffee table, and we're going to chat about what your project is. What does it entail? Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, we're not here to, to make a ton of money off it. We're here to really help you and to get your message out there and support Ennington, and yeah. support the town. That's really what we're here. Um, but I do remember, if I recall, you filmed Battle of the Pies. I did do yes. Battle. I remember you looked really familiar. Yes, I did. and that was great. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. So, yeah, another question over here, I think. Oh. Okay. I had a question. Um, you guys are talking about Facebook Live, and um, Instagram has a 60 second window uh, yep. to, to post a video. And at the end of the 60 seconds, no matter how much longer you have, it gets cut off. But there is like IGTV, which I don't know how to use. Is that a separate app? It, it is. It's, all, it's an app separately. It's also in the upper right corner of Instagram. Okay. Because I've noticed that too. You keep watching a longer video and it says continue in IGTV. And I so watch those. I just that, don't know right. how to make those or yeah. post them. That you would make in there, but you can also pull, how I, I don't use it much because I feel like there's just too many things to, yeah. how, how many platforms can I really be on at one time and do everything. But uh, yeah, that, that was one I don't have a whole lot of experience in. Um, but it's definitely geared towards vertical video and and being on the phone and doing all those things. Okay. So, um, but there's a separate app, IGTV. Okay. Thank you. Yes. So just, you. Oh, no, no. Um, Gary V has really talked about TikTok <laughs> this year. Ah, yeah. And he's saying Gary that LinkedIn, which LinkedIn is huge, mm -hmm. we all know that, but like you can do so much more with it. Yep. And TikTok, which is videos. I don't know what the do you know what the cap is in terms of length of time? I mean, have TikTok. you worked with TikTok? I haven't, no. I want to say that's very it's short form. I think so. Is it similar to like a uh, Vine? That was it's a shorter form, form yeah. Is is it? Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm not an expert. Oh. Is there like an um, age group? Are we looking at like yes. young yeah. kids? So I think I think to get this back into the business sphere of things, you know, one of the things, as Matt, Mike was saying, <laughs> there are plenty of platforms. And so I think you really, you know, part of that storytelling probably even going back before the story is who's the market you're trying to reach yeah. with the amount of time you have as a small business or a small organization manager. Yeah. And so, you know, Maru's got to do a lot of things at the country club and oh, by the way, now you're supposed to do video too. Right. So it's about saying where, what's the best bang for your buck? And I would say as a community based thing would be Facebook. If you're more business and you're more regionally based, uh, be LinkedIn. You know, I think Instagram is starting to move up there. You know, if you look at like entrepreneurship, there's early adoption and then there's kind of like late adoption. Be honest with you, in Southern Vermont, we're always kind of waiting for late adoption, and I, that's what I would kind of err on the side of. Facebook has what two billion people on it? Not three billion people. Um, it's golden. It's good. It's not going anywhere. Um, Instagram yeah. is getting up there, especially if you're in the tourism market, as, as Maru and Lynn Green and others have found out that, you know, it makes sense. Maybe not all our local markets on Instagram, but definitely our travelers are on Instagram, and they're now making their, their plan and saying with uh, purchasing houses. Yeah. Um, but I'd be very, very sensitive. You know, I'm the social media guy that would, you know, supposed to take a hop on everything and try everything, which I think you should. But I also think you have uh, a limited amount of time. Yeah. And how do you get five videos out in the next six months, both long form and short form, uh, and get those out? It, 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 there is a little bit of like, you've got to start moving on. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm a real estate agent, and as far as like timing length of video, like recently I went to a concert and I wanted to post one of the songs on Facebook, but I said it couldn't post because it was like, too big a file. Now, concert obviously has like a lot of sound and there's a lot going on. Is that going to take up more space faster than me just sitting at my desk or standing in front of a house talking and doing room by room walkthrough? Is it really the length or is it the fact that the music has a million it's really things the going on? Um, it's really the quality setting and the length. Okay. Yeah, not so and much the audio settings. Okay. No. And what would be the maximum length for Facebook? Is that 
toy with the idea of like doing walkthroughs of a home, yep. trying to walk through the whole house and describe the yep. rooms, but I don't want to keep experimenting with how many minutes it's going to cut me off. Sure. I'll just repeat the question for the microphones in the US. So it was really just how long for video length and um, what's, the, what's a better resolution and things like that. So uh, video length, when, when, if you're on Facebook uploading on the computer, at least on the computer, uh, it gives you all the check marks of like, you're doing great, you've added a location, your video has done this. Um, there's one there that says, sometimes for us, your video is not more than three minutes. So um, when it asks for uploading, three minutes or more is good. I think for the longer you're on Facebook Live. I don't do Facebook Live. Okay. About like Just videos. Okay. 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 So the longer the video, the better it could more engagement can happen with that, over three minutes. video, I kind of know it was around five minutes, and I said the file was too big and it wasn't accepted. And, and are you uploading it at the concert from your phone? No, I was doing it at home from my computer. Huh. Also, you know, some of the options that we have, so if you're posting on a personal account, you have certain options. If you're posting on a business account, you also have another set of options. So I don't know what the real estate stuff, if you're posting that I stuff. Both. Okay. Um, I know like the, the checklist that Mike was talking about, yep. that's on the business side. Yep. So you're not going to see a lot of those prompts on your, your personal page. Okay. Um, we found Facebook videos, I mean, you're talking a minute. People, if you're not... If the quality's not there and the engagement's not there, people aren't going to stick around for very long. Right, but I mean, if somebody wants to look at a house, they want to, yep. want to see it. But I mean, sure. three minutes be like a title? You're saying it should be at least three minutes, but Facebook wouldn't let me put I say if, if it's a, if it's a walkthrough of a house, a good That's a little different, yeah. three to five minutes sounds yeah. fair. Right, but I'm saying Facebook wouldn't let me put on a five-minute video. It, it will. I think it was just a oh. extenuating circumstance oh, okay. for you. Yeah. I don't know yeah, I don't think your yeah. Wi-Fi connection at your house or what yeah. it was, but yeah. you can upload. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. Okay, yeah, I mean, we, we do Facebook Live videos, and this is a little bit different, but over two and a half hours. Yeah, so, uh, yeah uh, thankfully, there's way, you know, the majority of people are going to use your phone. Mm -hmm. We are on Facebook Live right now, hopefully still. Um, just kidding. Yeah. But we use it through the computer, and we, use the, we pull the HDMI out of the, the camera, pull these microphones through the mixer, and then pull that all together on the laptop, and we're able to pull that stream through an open source software called OBS. Uh, so that's an open source software. If you have a camera and you want to learn all those things, we're happy to come, come to CAD TV. We'll show you what we have. The software is open to anyone. It's a free program out there in the world. Uh, it allows you to do those kind of things. For yeah, the so I, just, I know we're getting yeah, we started. Are. Let's sort of wrap up a little sure. bit of, of how CAD TV can, can help you out. Sure. I know we talked about a lot in this and then, and the other. So, uh, yeah, at, on a very basic level, anyone in this room can come to CAD TV for a $25 membership fee per year and basically learn how to utilize all the equipment that we have CAD TV free of charge. Completely free. I mean, I say $25 as a membership fee, but the training is completely free. Now you say, I don't want to learn how to use a video camera. I don't want this. You know what? We'll teach you how to use a phone. So when you're doing your own phone videos too, there's certain parameters that you have to follow. You know, audio is huge. Um, we had a discussion earlier. Um, you can get away with okay video, but you're not going to get away with okay audio. It's hugely important. People aren't thinking about that. They're yeah. this. Oh, my shot looks great, but I can't hear the person. Right. Oh yeah, I mean. Um, or lighting, like Mike said today, the lighting's not great in this corner, so the, sure. the video is going to reflect it. So we can teach you those very basic things: how to hook up a microphone, to you know, even to your cat. There's different things that we can teach yep. you how to do if you have no desire to learn big, bulky video cameras. We'll also teach you editing. Mm -hmm. Um, different platforms, different, like we mentioned, DaVinci. That's completely free, so you can come in. Mike will teach you how to use DaVinci. You can go home, upload that on your computer. You're ready to go. You know how to use it. Okay. So those are kind of the, the real low-level yeah. services that we provide. Then we can get into, obviously, the underwriting and the production services, which I think we talked quite a bit about. Yeah. But we're also hoping to launch some workshops at some point. Um, that'll take it to the next level. So we talked a lot about social media and posting videos and stuff like that. So I think we'll have a more focused session in on that and maybe we can pull Matt in to help us out on that a little bit. And the one thing we really didn't mention, I'm not going to go too deep into it, um, is websites. So people have kind of forgotten about websites a little bit. Um, social media has really come to the forefront. Um, but what's great about video, especially if you're telling your overarching theme, you can put that video on your website. I don't know about my, you guys, but you know, usually I'll see someone on Facebook, and I'll go to the about and learn a little bit more about them, and then I'll click on their website link and I'll go to the website and learn even more about that. So if you have an engaging video right on your website, 
that's another way to really pull people in and, and tell your story. So that's kind of my wrap up. Yes, well, uh, that's good stuff. I, I think uh, if you're uncomfortable being in front of the camera and you don't want to do the Facebook Live and stuff, yep. you can always film it on your phone. How'd that sound? Because sometimes people are out in a windy location. You're at a house, or Matt's out and about, and it's, it's a little windy out there sometimes. But you know, uh, if you're unsure about that, it's kind of windy. Maybe I'll just film it and see how it sounds. Like, okay, no, let me wait till I'm inside somewhere, and I'll, I can just film with my phone and you know, and put that in later or something. Like that. We can teach you uh, how to do those things. You know, I shot this on my phone. Uh, I, I can recommend some, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, I think it works on the iPhone, there's some great editing apps out there, it's very powerful now, I've always been hesitant to edit on a tablet or a touch device versus a computer, uh, but there's, they're really coming of age to really offer those kind of things, so but I think video is, today content is king, and in the content world video is king. And I don't think that's going anywhere anytime soon. It's there's a plethora of ways you can shoot video. We know that, um, but we're happy to assist you uh, in those needs. So, any questions? From, I know we had the questions throughout, but anyone else? I was just going to add. Burning um, desire. You know, so even yesterday we were promoting Restaurant Week, and that was easy enough to hop on our page and do a quick Facebook Live. I tried to keep it under a minute and a half. Um, uh, one, because I know the wind, I know the sound, I know the color. And then equally, we're constantly working with Cat TV on a variety, or even GNAP up in the North Shire on a variety of shows that we want to be done at a higher quality. And so I think any time we're tackling a new story for the chamber, is just a story of Restaurant Week that's going to come and go by, and do we want to um, do a quick interview with somebody, a cook, and that's going to be up on Facebook and it's good to go. Uh, we've also used uh, um, Cat TV for other restaurant weeks where we've done a little bit cleaner promo videos. Um, or, you know, Mike mentioned it before, the Bennington Made, which was the Shires Made, which is now um, Explore the Shires. That video we want to be a little bit higher quality. Uh, and, and I would say, you know, you guys tackled a lot of video and tech uh, and, and talked a little bit about story. One of the things that, that we've been exploring, and maybe you've seen this, and I would encourage all of you, especially if you don't like to be the focal point of something, I would do a Q&A show. I would do an interview show. Part of the fun of Explore the Shires is I'm the host, but I, I don't talk a whole lot on that show. I just go to other businesses and they do all the talking, and so all of a sudden the chambers you know, out there helping our members get promoted. We get content, free content on all of our platforms. And oh, by the way, I didn't have to script anything. I mean, it was, Mike will tell you, we show up day of, and we start filming, and we go for two hours, and then he edits it, and we put it up. And so as you're kind of thinking about, A, I don't want to be the center spotlight, or I don't know how to create the narrative completely, there are a lot of unique, fun ways. You know, uh, we do a podcast that I would encourage anybody to download called Marketing Vermont. We just did our latest one on video. So if you're looking for 2020 trends in video, I would go check that out. It's in the Apple Store, it's on Spotify, it's on YouTube. Um, and so we're constantly trying out new marketing themes. And that was a way to answer a lot of our members that were questioning, how do I do social media? How do I do video? How do I do marketing? How do I make a comprehensive plan that includes print uh, media, because we know that that's still impactful in Bennington. You can promote uh, in a lot of our magazines and, and Bennington Banner and stuff and, and still have audience there too. So uh, I, I would encourage you to download Marketing Vermont. We try to do an episode once once a, a month and either it will come in audio form where I go out and I interview thought leaders throughout Vermont in marketing um, or we'll do a video series as well on YouTube. Quickly on that, so we're bringing a couple of podcasts to CAT TV as well. So that's another thing you said. You know, I don't really, I don't envision myself going to Cat TV and doing a studio show. Well, that's great, but our studio is capable of doing podcasts. Um, yep. So, yep. Um, so we start to think about different resources. You know, I think Cat TV very similarly to the place that we're in right now. We're a resource center. Um, you know, we have all the resources there. Think a little bit outside the box of what you want to accomplish and what you want to do. And when it comes to technology, we can certainly meet that need. So, if a podcast was something that you're interested in doing at Cat TV. Um, certainly get a hold of us and that's something we can arrange as well. So. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, kind of a comment. I was going to ask yeah. you, Matt, um, as far as um, 
for instance, my, my, I work with seniors, caring for them. So my target market really is baby boomers who are looking for care for their aging parents. I have to know, because I don't have a lot of time to waste on social media, Facebook is where those people are, where if you're looking for a younger generation, they've like moved off of Facebook and they're on something else. So it's kind of identifying where are your target market hanging out. Because yep. it's like a hanging out place, that's what it is, social media, where the people are hanging out there. And where are they hanging out? And the other thing I just wanted to mention was, like for the, with the video, you almost have to build your credibility by offering informative information and educational information ahead of time. So for instance, the realtors may want to, um, you may put a video on, but people aren't going to just jump on and watch your video. you got to begin to build yourself up as the person that's going to answer questions for them. What are the problems they're facing? And then, so you might put out a post that says, five, three tips um, in its post on what to look for in a real estate agent or in a home or so you begin, so then now when you're doing video, people are like, I want to listen to her because she's informing me about what's happening, what a golf club, what to look for when you're purchasing golf clubs, or you become the go-to person in your um, group. There was a, there was a product company, we have a, a good friend that works with the chamber, but there's a product company that has uh, a bucket company that's trying to break into the market. It's a very expensive bucket, but it's really great for construction people. Yeah. So they said, point some of your marketing money to uh, buy out part of a house rebuild, do an eight episode thing, and make sure the bucket's in every shot of it. Yeah. So it'd be interesting yeah. for a real estate person to say, hey, look, I'll put a couple grand down if you know part of my show is I get to look at a remodel of a kitchen, but it's sponsored. By you or you or Brenda or any of the other realtors and say, but I get to be on every show. So now walk me through construction right. yeah. first and what you're doing. All of a sudden I've now got a fun little show and that's definitely the evolution of video and, and I would say even in the Bennington, Southern Vermont area, that has grown a lot more. I've seen a lot more engaging posts I would say in the last three to four years where I think Maureen before we were just here I am by my product, right. getting smarter yeah. uh, and telling a story and saying, wow, I just want to do business with that person because they're giving, you know, it'd be interesting to partner with Habitat for Humanity and, uh, you know, Maple Leaf sponsors half of Habitat for Humanity, but now we're sending Michael as part of that, as our exactly. film crew and our sign mm -hmm. is everywhere in that Habitat home. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because that's really a, a huge point that we have been telling people. Um, I'll use Aflac as a recent example. So they came in, we have Aflac through Cat TV, and they weren't quite sure how to utilize us because they couldn't go on and say, buy our cancer policy. They, they couldn't do that. Right. So we said, have a series of maybe five minute shows where one, you're getting in front of the camera so people are identifying you. Mm -hmm. They're identifying you with a certain business and then give them tips. So how to avoid flu season. And then exactly. they would, that's what you do. Yes. And that you can do at Cat TV completely free. Mm -hmm. There's no money for that. You, you, that's basically a membership fee. You come down okay. and we do that for you. So you take that component and you add on maybe a production services for a higher quality piece that you're putting on something else and you're just you're getting a lot of bang for your You're problem. not a salesperson, you're a problem solver. Exactly. Okay. What's and your problem? I'm gonna help you. You develop trust and you develop that knowledge and trust. Factor. And that's really how you yeah. how you really want to go about yeah. the question. Yeah. And what were you saying? You're saying you can come in if you're a chamber member, you can come in and for twenty five dollars you'll teach us how to use like Certain. Yep, so you don't even have to be a chamber member. Yeah, I want to say that's great. You can be a chamber yeah. member. Right? <laughs> you have to be a member of a cat TV. Yep, yeah, so you, anyone who lives, works, or goes to school in the five towns that we serve have the ability to come to Cat TV for a $25 yearly membership fee. Oh, wow. All the training is completely free. And once you're trained on the equipment, you can utilize the equipment free of charge. Now, there is a caveat. Um, whatever you produce with our equipment has to play on Cat TV. So you can't go, unfortunately, you take our equipment and go and film a, a commercial you know, for your business. Um, but we're happy to, you know, figure out what your message is and do the educational component free of charge at CAD TV and then give you the skills to either, you know, go out and get your own equipment and do it or again, engage us with some kind of production services. Okay. So. And, and, and to kind of go back to Gary Vee and kind of what we were talking about, you know, it really is a give, 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 ask model. So when you're doing video in my mind, we're saying, look, here's a home rebuild, or here's five lessons free right. from our yep. golf pro on Cat TV, three minute video each. And oh, by the way, at the end of that, mm -hmm. 
come by a course, you know, come by a day with us or come by a CISO with us. So it's the, I'm giving you a lot of valuable information and I think as human beings at the end of it, we kind of feel some obligation to pay you back somehow. Yep. So they say, hey, I've given you a lot of this stuff, would you mind giving back to exactly. my organization or yep. my company? Exactly. And then one final question, because I do want to make no, sure we're ending. Yep. Sorry, I just um, yep. wanted to say that um, like the video front, um, it's, it, like if you put the video in like a paid ad for Facebook, I've seen like a lot more, like that's gonna go to like a landing page, yep. that's gonna capture someone's email. I feel like has a lot more of a capture than a picture in a video. A whole other yeah. course, a whole yeah. Other thing. Like yeah. people are, you know, I can keep it short, you know, whatever, but yep. um, I, see, I feel like it works better for me. And that, and that really is going back to a marketing funnel. So you could do the first two minutes for free, mm -hmm. a marketing pro, and then go to our website give us your information, mm -hmm. and either we'll give you the next 30 minutes for free or it costs you 25 bucks. When you free. So I think there's the funnel that gets them really engaged and then starts to make them an actual true customer. So that's, all, that's next year's course. Yes. There is a, a pad going around. If you have other ideas for us to do next year, we like to do about six or eight. Uh, we'll be filming them all with Cat TV next year. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure to get that out to our membership. We do have to give a shout out to our sponsors for 2019. We're hoping that them will come back for 2020. Heritage Family Credit Union uh, makes this possible within our chamber budget. Um, so uh, we really appreciate Mark and the team over at Heritage. And any other final words, guys? Uh, where can they go to learn more information? I could probably be around for a little bit and hand out cards. But do you have, have applications for membership? Yes, we have that online. Oh, nice. So, catamountaccess.com. And right on the top banner there, there's a membership option. And you can sign up right online. And uh, again, we're happy to help with video. Yeah, we're right at 625 Main Street, right here in Bennington. You've been there a long time. You're always welcome to just pop by. We have a website, catamountaccess.com, YouTube page, Cat TV Bennington, Facebook page, Cat TV Bennington. Um, we're here, you know, please swing by, check us out. For, for nothing else, it's an awesome building yeah. to yeah. check out. Yeah. Um, but then it can, really you'll get a chance to really see the studio, see the equipment, yep. and, and you can get a sense for us. And uh, we're always happy to just chat about TV and local TV. Yep. So. Great. And uh, just a reminder that we have one last lunch and learn coming up in November on health care prices, mm -hmm. which won't be and great. Changes. Spoiler, here's the punchline. You're going up 12 and 13 percent, but um, but we will have Heidi or someone uh, like Heidi. I think Heidi's on maternity leave, but the Richards group will be presenting uh, that, so we will get you information about that. And otherwise, thank you, Will. Thank you, Mike, for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.